Bro, I've been wanting. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm doing so good today. I'm so, I'm so happy to hear your voice, man. Cause I was, I was honestly worried about you, because of all this. Well, I all, had, I had a, uh, uh, for a while there, I was without a phone, and uh, mine had gotten stolen, and other things were going on. But I'm back in San Marcos, and uh, uh, rented a little place over here. Oh, that's good. Where so, you, where you at? Well, I'm I'm staying up on Smith Lane, which is two blocks off the interstate. Uh, 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 so, let's see, what's it? Uh, I'm at Golfo de Mexico. It's <laughs> behind there. It's, it's, it's kind of a goofy little apartment type thing, but it's better than nothing. That's good. And it's affordable. It's That's... affordable. It's actually called a Horton House. Okay. Where, you know, where people don't, you know, you got to stay sober to stay here. Mm-hmm. You know. That's that's good to hear. That's good to hear, man. Oh, I mean, I've been I've went through. That's why I haven't really reached out to you because since we met, like I was I was homeless with like I, well, I wasn't homeless, but my apartment that I'm living in now it wasn't ready, and I finally moved yeah, in. Yeah, remember that. Yeah, I finally moved into it earlier in May, and then like I've been on the like between here and where my mom lives at, and then we went to Virginia for a little bit to visit my sister. Uh huh. So I've I've been uh-huh. I've been like too busy, but now that's uh. I'm basically gonna be here for a lot more while, but it's good to hear your voice because yeah, the um. Oh, so I thought I've been thinking about you. And I found you on my on my contact list. So hell yeah, on. that's good, man. I'm I'm really glad you reached well, out I, today. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I just had like I just had like a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown. Like I was just having a little bit of a breakdown trying to figure out how to be more of a man and like like I just had like all these barriers built up from like trying to be something I'm not basically and now I'm just going to be myself and it just feel it feels like and I like I was going through a lot of things like I was battling with my like my I had a drug addiction and alcohol problem and I was doing a lot of that instead of just like doing healthy shit like exercising going to church going to f- yeah. see friends and stuff and so when you met me I was like in the middle like I was in the middle between good and bad because like I, I growing up I had it easy my whole life I never had to worry about anything and then like coming to college like that shit but like ever since my dad died basically just like I felt extremely lost because he was a person that always told me what to do and like helped guide me and like I realized the whole time he's been guiding me like through subliminal messages and stuff and like God and him and like all my other guardian angels they They've been guiding me the whole time, but I was too, my heart, like I was, ever since he died, I was pushing away everything that I ever loved. All my family, all my friends, God, uh, basically anybody who ever loved me, I was just pushing everybody to the side because I was like, fuck you, I don't need you, I can do this by myself, and I couldn't. I honestly couldn't. And then uh, a few weeks ago, like on July 22nd, I did like Molly, Coke, Acid, I did a I did a shit ton of drugs. Oh man! Yeah, yeah, I did a shit ton of drugs, and like that was the most powerful I ever felt. And I have like all these pictures in my room, and I have I put I have like because I grew up Catholic, and I have like Jesus and some other art, uh, Christian Christian art, and then some art of my father. And I was just in my room, and I had people in here, and when I was just talking, I was like, I need to get my shit together. I need to like stop doing this. I need to open my heart back to God because I stopped going to church for about a year, year and a half. Well, you know, uh, well, as I do, uh, it's up to us, but really, you know, it's up to myself to, to, to at least take steps and ask for help and stuff like that, whether it be human, other humans and friends and, and family or, or your God or however it is. It's just because nothing hardly ever works out otherwise. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, I, I'm not a real religious person, and I'm not big on AA, although I go once a week. And uh, just because I'm around so, so uh, sober people that, yeah, that uh, have something to say that you know you, that you, you you you're in the same. Boat yeah, I know. I know exactly what you mean. Because when I, whenever I'm sober, I just become an asshole. Like I have to use, I gotta do something. Like or else, like I'm gonna just be cranky and shit. Like there's balance. Like it's okay. I I want yeah. people to understand. Like it's okay to do shit, but like you just have to know like your limits and like still get your shit done and stuff like that. Right. Well, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I get angry when I drink. I get angry when I'm sober too, but I'm not anywhere near like I do otherwise. 
but I can be cranky too, but mostly I'm pretty outgoing. When I'm sober, I'm usually pretty outgoing, I'm a generous person, and uh, with whatever I might have, and, and with it, I may just be talking to someone or giving my last dollar, I'll do it. And yeah. uh, to a fault sometimes, but, uh, and I don't take care of business. Well, since I've sobered up in, in just a matter of a week, I had everything taken care of. It. I was, you know, stuff like getting another social security card, getting an ID, getting this, getting that, uh, getting my social security straight out. Everything it just fell right in place. And, cause, and it won't whenever I'm sober. I just, I don't take care of anything. And I, my, one of my main things is patience. Yes. With, you know, yes, people patience. or things that happen, stuff. I can't, and, and bureaucracies, I have a hard time dealing with. I leave my paper every once in a while on them, and I just, so, anyway, it's just a whole lot easier being sober now, uh, you know, and I can, I can think better about, you know, what, what my spirituality is, and, and uh, about everything, yeah. uh, about what I need to do, what I have to do, I, and uh, I'm not some religious monk that, that just, you know, that's on yeah, my I mean, like, mind 24-7, but <laughs> I, I at least, you know, but I do take things into consideration, and, and things always work out. I mean, yeah, you just gotta you gotta have smart. faith. You just got to have faith and be optimistic. It has nothing to do with religion. I feel like when people think of religion, especially when it comes to Christianity and stuff, it's like, oh, you can't uh -huh. drink, you can't have sex, you can't you can't curse, you can't do this and that, or you're going to hell. No, fuck that. Like you can do whatever you want because we're human. We make mistakes. Like ever since the beginning of time, since Adam and Eve, like we've always God never told us right or wrong. He gave us a choice to like you can either do this. He said, don't, he told Eve, don't eat the apple. And Eve was like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to eat the apple. So, like, since then, there's original sin. Yeah, so but without that, we, we wouldn't be really uh, self-contemplative, uh, uh, mm -hmm. conscious human beings because that we had to get this knowledge. Yep. Otherwise, we'd just be animals if he just kept us as animals. I got a lot to say about all that stuff because I've studied a lot of the Bible and the historicity of the Bible. And historicity uh, means the study of the history and how it all came about. <laughs> but anyway, it's really interesting. That's the reason I keep a Bible, because I like to study it. And I'm not saying the Bible's all wrong or it's bad or anything like that. I'm just saying I, I have a pretty good idea what the, what the score is. Yeah. And it's interesting. Yeah, most it's definitely. It's a study for me, just like any other field. Most definitely. Can. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm going to save your... So this is going to... This is, is this your, like, uh, permanent number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bet. I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna save it, and um, okay. I'm I'm busy the rest of the week. Okay. But we can I definitely. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Uh, what about schooling? Is oh, wow, school. Everything with that. Still yeah. Going. No, this is still going, so it's online right now. So I'm gonna have a lot more yeah. time, but I'm doing a lot like. So when we met, I was going through a rough time patch, but like I do uh -huh. like I do photography, I cook. And like that video, uh -huh. I haven't even, I haven't, I've been so busy that I haven't been able to Never look at it. Yeah. But I'm so glad that you talked to me. So my goal is to release that film because we recorded it the day before Halloween. I want to release uh -huh. it on All Saints Day, which is November 1st or De Las Muertas. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You might want to edit it. That don't sound too stupid. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like, like well, like, I would, it'll be. I would, I, would, I would have been drinking there, you know, day. That's what I'm, but like people can see the changes from both of us like so like this, this honestly you know um I don't know if it's okay but it uh I've been recording the conversation if that's cool sure uh, cuz I swear that uh, I this film is going to impact both of our lives and a lot of other people's lives like it's going That'd be to be great it's going to financially be good for us and it's also going to make a lot of people more open to like people like us who are we we know we have a good idea. We're just like just treat people how you want to be treated, and that's it. That's honestly it. It's just to that's accept people, it. accept people for who they yeah. are. Let them if they want to make their if they want to live their life, let them live their life. Don't tell them what they can and can't do because that you're trying to it control them. Anyway. It won't work. That's bullheaded like for most people are. I mean, you might ask them and get you know show give them tools or or explain how you you know things are done. Do it right, but you can't force anybody to change. Most people will buck up, to tell you the truth. But you know, let me, uh, did I have my leg, prosthetic leg, when you were there? Yeah. I did, okay. Well, it got stolen. And, uh, oh, $20,000 shit. leg. It got stolen, but somehow it came back <laughs> months later. 
That's and, good. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I put it in, the, in, but it was all messed up. I put it in the shop down there for almost. I'm trying to, they said they can't repair it, so I got to I get another one. So I had to go up to orthopedic uh, uh, in Austin and get a, basically just a prescription. And they were going to back it down to them so I'd get another leg made. <clears throat> but, uh, and, but somehow they didn't back the right stuff. So I've been going through that for several weeks now. I can't, I can't seem to figure out how to do a back. So that, that pissed me off right here. <laughs> so I still get pissed off. But, uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I feel I that. Around in a wheelchair, of course. Yeah. But listen, uh, my address is 322. Hold on. Let me write, let me write it down real quick. You ready? Uh, give me like, okay. He said 322 